Hey, what is going on guys? Dano from ModBot here, and if you thought that I died, thank you for your concern. Um, I've, I started up school a few weeks ago, and I'm taking summer courses, which is six weeks instead of 16 weeks, so it's been pretty intense. I've been really busy. It's been pretty much go to school Monday through Thursday, go home, take a nap, do homework for four or five hours, and a couple things around the house, then repeat the next day. And then I've been busy with homework over the weekend, but I actually got the weekend off from homework and I got some time to work on things and as you can see in front of you the Trox CX-3 is complete. This is a miracle. This has been in the works of being built for maybe a month and a half or two months now. I did like three live streams. In the last live stream it was pretty much built. Well it was built but it wasn't like completed. completed. Um, I tried printing out a Benchy and it printed terribly. So I went ahead and cleaned things up a little bit. Um, I spent a couple of hours actually doing cable management the other day. So um, I wish I had a before and after picture. It looked terrible before, um, and now it is looking really, really good. It's it's complete. It's in its final state. Um, I went ahead and cable wrapped everything. I rerouted the cables as much as I possibly could. Use zip ties for things. I got the housing off to the side completely closed up. All the wires are in there very nicely. Um, the only issues that I had was is that the power switch um, that came with my Tronx CX-3 was defective. I tried rewiring it and I could not figure out what in the world was going on with it. Um, the fuse, they had like a fuse in line and the fuse wasn't broken but um, it just would not power on. And so I completely wired it up directly by bypassing the switch and it was able to turn on but I did want a switch. So I actually went ahead and kind of stole a switch from one of my other 3D printers that I had laying around and I wired it up so now there is a power switch in the back. I just kind of drilled into the acrylic and mounted it which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, I will have a complete review of this coming up in the next week here. Um, I'm just trying to get some time to edit it because again this is like kind of an on the fly update while um, the next video is going to be more detailed obviously. I'll put together and actually edit out some stuff um, but that's in the works. So it's printing pretty successfully now. Um, it's just got a little bit of issue with under extrusion. So I'm probably gonna calibrate the stepper motor that is off to the right here, linked up to the extruder. Um, and that should really fix all of the issues. And then I will be done with this. And um, after that, what I've got working on is I'm gonna rebuild my DaVinci. I'm going to hopefully finish the Delta printer I have off here to the left, as well as I got a um, uh, Raspberry Pi 3 and webcam for the Raspberry Pi, or not webcam, but camera for the Raspberry Pi uh, in from Banggood. It's over here off to the left. I don't think you really see it. Maybe you see the boxes. Um, so I'm going to be installing and making a tutorial on how to install AstroPrint as well as we're going to be setting up a camera so that way hopefully we can do some pretty cool time lapses and things like that. I'm really looking forward to it. So videos are going to kind of resume as normal. There's just going to be not quite as often just because school is obviously my number one priority. Um, um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I got my associates, but I'm going back now for my bachelor's in computer engineering. So I am back at my community college taking um, just math and science classes, essentially, is what I need. And uh, like one or two programming classes along with that. So i um, really excited. Things are going extremely well, but I figured it was time to update you guys. And uh, again, I finally took some time and messed with this the other night and was extremely ecstatic that I finally got it. Like so so much um i will say that uh, again this will be kind of more on the review side of things but i don't like how much space this takes up with the whole control box off to the left but what i do like about the control box is that all of the excess wires and things like that and all of the kind of messy clutter that comes along with the 3d printer kit is able to be hidden off in this control box which is really really nice and there is a mod or upgrade, if you want to call it that, that you can do to the Tronx CX-3 that basically adds one leg to each of the four corners, which elevates the whole printer off of its uh, off of its bottom frame, which allows you to fit that control box underneath the printer, which I don't know if I'll actually do that. Um, I actually don't know that I'm going to hold on to this printer uh, for too, too long, but um, I would highly recommend that if space is an issue. Um, so it's kind of a good and bad thing to come along with having that control box again is that one it takes up more space But two it does look really really clean You don't have to worry about kind of cables being all over the place So I'll real quick go ahead and show you guys the back of the control box Which is where I installed that switch. I actually I went ahead and killed the print right now I was just putting a little calibration cube which really was for no purpose other than me to make sure everything was still running after all of my cable management and whatnot, but as you can see the switch back here 
there was a rectangular cutout which had the uh, switch that it came with, which was this guy right here. So I removed this, and luckily the switch that I had from my other printer, the screw holes were actually identical. So I was able to just um, drill that in. Um, well, I guess it would have been perfect if I didn't need this switch right here. The holes are right next to it. But I basically went ahead, scooted that down to the side, took a just power drill and drilled through the acrylic. And I have this, uh, the screws on the other side of this acrylic. It's locked in with little uh, nuts to keep this in place. And then the switch is actually just fitted in there um, without any screws like that. This, uh, the actual power plug port just kind of pushes it to the side so that way it can't move. It's, it's in there solid. There's no, you know, moving whatsoever. But then flip it on, you can see the lights turn on and the machine kicks on. So I could have just had it wired in where you had to unplug the cable um, to basically turn it off. But I don't like that. I think it's inconvenient and none of my other printers have that. Um, I'd rather have a power switch. So once again, guys, this is the Tronxy X3 finished in all of its glory. And again, a review video will be coming. Um, for those of you that have been waiting, thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone's patience. I hope you guys all have been doing fantastic. And I'm sure I probably won't make another video before Tuesday. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic 4th of July. And um, as always, look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Once again, this has been Daniel from ModBot, and I am out. Peace, guys.